find it very calming and relaxing. Hearing the sound, one of my goals is to uh, be in an orchestra when I'm older. Sienna does look like the average 12-year-old. She has so many challenges. Sienna has multiple diagnoses. Um, the main, most debilitating diagnosis is paradox-independent epilepsy. Just before a seizure, usually I'll feel my hands tingly, my tongue will start feeling tingly, I'll get a headache. She has seizures that can be very debilitating. She can be one day walking and talking perfectly fine and the next day in a wheelchair and unable to, to talk. Sienna has an enzyme deficiency that results um, in a backup of a biochemical pathway such that she can't break down a certain aspect of her diet. Um, as a result, she becomes B6 deficient um, because one of those toxic metabolites that backs up sucks your B6 away. When she has a tonic-clonic seizure, which is one of the larger seizures, she needs an injection of paradoxin, which is vitamin B6, in her leg. There are probably half a million uh, Canadian children affected by one of these rare genetic diseases that we uh, described. What happens to most of these uh, children is that they see multiple specialists, they have multiple investigations, they have MRIs and all sorts of things, and then several years later you might sort it out. Uh, this needs to change such that it's much more rapid and timely. I wish I didn't have the seizures. They're not fun at all. It is very scary. My dog can help detect the seizures before they can happen. The Jedi has reduced the number of needles that Sienna has had to endure. She's also helped her sit down instead of falling down the stairs. With hope, which we're hoping research will bring us, you hold on and you keep fighting. And she will have her challenges, but I'm optimistic she is going to hopefully become that little violin player that she wants to be. They are um, trying to find a cure for it, like maybe a medicine or something like that that can stop the seizures. Then.